My name is Ted, and I own a small farm with an apiary in northern Illinois. Of all the chores required of me, beekeeping is by far my favorite. These tiny industrious creatures never cease to amaze me. My bees create a bounty from seemingly nothing, and no bounty on my farm is as sweet. However, like they say, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it, and that rule definitely applies to beekeeping. Bees are prone to dying in many ways, from hive-wide infestations of mites and beetles to disease and starvation. These are challenges every apiary must overcome, and it can seem to occur at a moment's notice. This brings me to the largest hurdle beekeepers face in my region, winter. During a normal winter season, an apiary can expect to lose at least 30% of their bees. When you add extended periods of sub-zero temperatures, wind chills often reaching down to negative 20 Fahrenheit, beekeepers can find whole colonies wiped out. Many beekeepers, myself included, insulate their hives in an effort to mitigate some of this loss. I was surprised to find that there are very few options readily available on the market designed for hive insulation. This left me to hobcobble together my own solutions, which came with varying results and problems. Some issues I've had with my homemade insulation were a lack of access for hive inspection, buildup of moisture in the hive causing mold to form and sometimes condensation, and occasionally I would end up with a blocked hive entrance trapping my bees in the hive and keeping them from their normal activities. That's why I decided to find a better way and wound up creating the hive jacket system. The product shown here is one complete hive jacket system and comes with a top cover, one honey super, and two deep body sections. Sections are added to the hive starting from the bottom moving up. The lower section is installed without any hive modification. This allows for full and open hive entrances. Here beekeepers can add an entrance reducer, anti-vermin screens, and even use an entrance feeder if they desire. Subsequent sections are attached using Velcro scripts, which not only secure components together, but also ensure for proper ventilation. All sections are firmly secured to the hive itself using a series of nylon belts and parachute buckles. This feature will keep the hive jacket firmly in place during the heaviest winds. Not all hives are the same size and the hive jacket system is designed with this in mind. Additional sections can be installed as necessary to cover even the largest colonies. The hive jacket can be applied to both 8 and 10 frame width hive bodies. Additionally, some extra length has been added to each section to accommodate boxes that use handles instead of the recessed handholds used on these supers. Each component is clad in a PVC shell making it waterproof and a polyester nylon inner layer keeping the system from being airtight. The hive jacket system shown in this video takes about 5 minutes to install and tears down just as quickly. After use, sections can be wiped down with some warm soapy water, allowed to dry and stored away for next winter. Finally, a top cover is slipped over the hive and held into place with four nylon straps that stretch over each corner. Notice the hive top is not attached to the body. This allows the beekeeper easy access for periodic inspections with little or no disruption to their bees. I first developed the hive jacket system out of a personal need to find a reliable and reusable solution for wintering my bees. Now I see that this product can potentially benefit all cold weather beekeepers. By reducing bee loss in winter, apiaries can expect stronger colony populations in spring, leading to higher yields of bee products and more pollinators for our crops. Thank you for taking the time to watch my introduction. And if you're interested in supporting this product, please purchase one of our offerings through the Indiegogo campaign. Just head over to Indiegogo.com and search for the Hive Jacket. All proceeds from the campaign go to securing the first run of Hive Jacket systems.